Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is field symbols. Now what are field symbols? Field symbols are the placeholders for the data objects. Field symbols are holding the place for the data objects. Firstly, we will understand what is the generic meaning of placeholder. A person who is holding the place for another person, then we will say it is a placeholder. A person who is holding the place for another person. It means whatever this person will do, it will simply, simply impact the another person because this person holded the place for this particular person. Same thing is applicable here. Field symbols are the placeholders for the data object. Field symbols are holding the place for the data object. You all know very well what are data objects. Your variable, internal table, work areas, they all are your data objects because they are holding the data. And field symbol is a placeholder for them. It is holding the place for the data object. This field symbol is holding the place for the data object. It means whatever you will do to the field symbol, ultimately it will impact the data object. So if I will change the value of the field symbol, it means it will automatically change the value of the data object because this for this data object, I am saying, yes, this is the field symbol. This is the placeholder. So whenever I will do something to the field symbol, it will automatically impact that data object. Now, field symbols do not occupy any physical memory space. They will never, never occupy any physical memory space. They will point to the content of the data object. They will point to the value of the data object. Now, after declaring a field symbol, we can assign the data object to the field symbol. And say golden rule, yes. If I want to assign a data object, suppose my data object is a variable. Whenever I want to assign that variable to the field symbol, it means firstly, I need to declare the field symbol. So it is clearly saying, firstly, you can declare once you declare a field symbol, yes, you can assign that data object to that field symbol. Once you assign the data object to this field symbol, it means, yes, this field symbol is a placeholder now. So whatever you will do to this field symbol, it will impact this particular data object. So whenever your successful assignment will be done. Means whenever this data object is assigned to the field symbol, after that, whenever you will address the field symbol, address the field symbol means if you do something to the field symbol, you will change or you will do something to this particular field symbol. Ultimately, you are addressing what data object that is assigned to the field symbol. And we already pushing the starting of the topic. We are pushing on this line. After assignment, whenever you will address the field symbol, ultimately we are addressing that data object which is assigned to this particular field symbol. 
Now, what is the syntax of the field symbol? How we will declare a field symbol? So whenever I want to go for field symbols, field symbols is the keyword. Then we need to give the name of the field symbol. Now, whenever we will give some name to the field symbol, we need to give into this less than and greater than key. So whenever I will go for the field symbol, it always enclosed between less than and greater than key. So in this syntax, field symbol is a keyword. FS is the name of the field symbol. And yes, this is the less than and greater than key. Our name of the field symbol must be enclosed between this. Now, now we have two types of field symbols. First one is typed field symbol. And the second one is generic field symbol. Now, what is typed field symbol? Word itself is saying, whenever you will declare a field symbol using the types, data types. Data types means what? You are declaring a field symbol using elementary data type. You are declaring a field symbol using complex data type. You all know elementary data type are character, numeric, integer, float. Whenever you are combining those elementary data type, they are called as complex data type. So whenever you will specify a type to the field symbol that can be elementary, that can be complex, that is called as typed field symbol. Suppose simple example, I declared a field symbol and I gave type I. We know I is a elementary data type and I is integer. So this is your typed field symbol because you specify a type to the field symbol. Now the most important point, we are assigning the data object to the field symbol. Now, if your field symbol is a typed field symbol, you are giving a type data type to the field symbol. It means your data object and field symbol should be compatible. Yes, because it should not be the case. Your field symbol is of different type. Your data object is of different type. Yes, if you are going for typed field symbol, if we specify a type to the field symbol, the system check the compatibility of your field symbol and the data object which is assigned to that particular field symbol. From the starting of the topic, yes, we are covering data object is assigned to the field symbol. So if you are specifying the type of the field symbol, type to the field symbol, it means yes, system will check the compatibility between what data object and the field symbol. Now we will go for generic field symbol. And this is widely, widely used. And because of that only field symbols are more, more preferable. Generic field symbols are used for dynamic programming. Whenever we want to do the dynamic programming, we will go for generic field symbol. And yes, in case of generic field symbol, most commonly used types are any and any table. If you see the example, I have a field symbol type any. I have a field symbol type any table. Any table, whenever we will use, it means we are going for internal table. Whenever we will go for any, means we are going for structure or variables. So whenever we will go for any table, it means we are going for internal table. And any means we are going for variable or what 
areas. Anyways, when the practical will start, I will use both any and any table. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with again most important concept, field symbols. They are the symbols for the fields. They are the symbols for the data object. They are the placeholder for the data object. They are holding the place for the data object. It means if you will do something to the field symbol, ultimately it will impact the data object because these data object are assigned to the field symbol and field symbols are the placeholder for them. They are holding the place for them. Now field symbols never, never occupy space. They point to the content of the field symbol. They point to the content of, sorry, data object. By mistake, I told field symbol. Field symbol point to the content of data object. Now, whenever you want to assign a data object to field symbol, firstly, you need to declare after you do the assignment, once you assign the data object to this field symbol, after that, whatever, whenever you will address field symbol, ultimately you are addressing the data object itself. So whenever I want to declare a field symbol, field symbol is the keyword, then we need to give less than and greater than, greater than key. And in between this, I can give the name of the field symbol. Now, field symbols are of two types. Typed field symbol and generic field symbol. In case of typed field symbol, we will declare the field symbol using the element data type. Suppose character, integer, numeric, paired decimal, float, etc. Complex means we can see we will declare a field symbol using the inter using the structure types. Yes, you all know complex data type is all about we are combining the element data types. Yes. So whenever you are giving the type to the field symbol, that is called as your typed field symbol. But whenever you will give a type to the field symbol, and whenever you will assign that data object to that typed field symbol, yes, ultimately system should check the compatibility at that point of time. Now, secondly, we covered Generic field symbol. Generic field symbol is for dynamic programming. And yes, at that time, two most important types are any and any table. Any we will use for work areas, variables, and any table we will use for internal tables. In the next video, we will start with small, small basic programs and then we will move on to the real importance of field symbols. So that's it in this video. Thank you.